team, uh, Randy Edwards here. I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, jumping rope. Uh, great, great, great warm up. I just, I know there's a lot of different ways to warm a, warm a class up, but you're talking about a, a easy way to warm a big group up. You know, I just, I love it because they, obviously we're up on the tippy toes doing doing the jump rope, and that's it, really good for what we do in martial arts, trying to keep those feet engaged and work those calf muscles, work the cardio system. But um, what I what I've got here is a rope called an RX rope. I always tell a good rope that if you hold it, if you hold it like this, and just let the let the bottom part spin. If it keeps spinning, you got a pretty good rope there. All right, we want this to be a pretty quick action. Uh, this is a fairly long rope for my size, but this is the rope that I that I kind of started on and learned on. So I've grown very comfortable with this size of a rope. And when you stand on it, you see the the length of the rope from side to side here. Uh, it, it works for me. We're going really fast. Sometimes the rope may hit just a little bit too far out in front of me like that because I'm typically holding my rope here, but that's about where you want a rope size for, for, for you. But let's talk about the jump rope a little bit. Um, obviously, you know, the, this both feet at the same time, it's, a, it's really good. It's a good place to start. Now watch, we're picking one leg up, other leg up, other leg up. We want to work on, on this alternating leg with this uh, single under. When I say the single under, I mean the rope passing one time under. So we're on the double, then one leg up, one leg up, one leg up. All right, now I'll start looking at some sparring when we're jumping our rope. Talking about some, some moving. Moving forward, moving back, moving from, moving from side to side. Just not the same old just standing in one spot and doing your jump rope. The ability to move around is, is pretty important also. Uh, we've got jumping jacks where you can legs out and together, forward and back. So a lot of different, lot of different ways to do the jump rope, a lot of different videos out there on the jump rope. So uh, get creative so the jump rope is not boring. Uh, but we, uh, at our school, we like to do a minute and a half or two minute, two minute rounds on the jump rope. Every once in a while, I'll jump that up to a three minute round and push everybody. I think uh, one time we did a 30 minute non-stop jump rope workout, which uh, had people a little bit sore in their calves the, the next day. Let's talk about taking, taking your, your single unders to double unders. A double under, you have got to not do this <laughs> to get that rope to spin fast enough to get under your feet two times while you jump, jump once. Very efficient jumper will not jump super high, but you do have to go a little bit higher than normal. So this is going to be about where you're going to need to be jumping, doing that double under. You, it's going to, you just have a little bit of a jump, you're going to have a hard time spinning super, super, super fast to get, get uh, two times under your feet with that rope. single, 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 double, single, 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 double, single, 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 double, and that looks like this. We'll go under three times, one, two, three, double, one, two, three, double, one, two, three, double, and you're getting, you're getting some doubles there, and, and you might miss every once in a while, and if you're barefoot, that's great, rope's going to hit your toes, that's called pain compliance, don't let that happen again, you know, work harder on your jump rope, but uh, you'll eventually be able to start stringing uh, two double unders together and then three and then four and then five and then you'll you'll start finding a, a, a groove with your with your with your single unders where you can get a bunch of those things I know uh, to st first start getting the double unders I had a fairly thick rope not super thick but not super thin either I went with a medium sized thickness on my jump rope and found I was getting pretty good at that double under with this weight of the rope basically to be able to get, get fairly efficient with that double under. One day I picked up a, a much, much, much thinner jump rope uh, and tried it out and, and my double unders were better. This is, you see how lightweight that, that rope is, how it's kind of curling up on me there. But um, what I found is to get my double unders where I'm doing, you know, sets of 60 and sets of 100 
unbroken basically, this uh, thinner rope just spins so much faster. Here's my double under became, let's say not effortless, but so much easier. So my recommendation based on personal experience is to start with a fairly, fairly thick rope and then as you get better, go thinner and thinner and thinner with the rope. Um, good luck with your double unders. Hold those wrists out here. Remember, the action is all in the wrist, not in doing this. You want to be really efficient with your jump and not be doing something crazy or you're burning all your energy just doing the jump. You want to be as efficient as possible with, with your jump rope. And uh, take your rope, take your fitness level, take your uh, martial arts, take whatever sport you do to a different level with these uh, double unders. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Thank you.